Hello and welcome back to the old golden black. I'm finally set up here at last and it's time for me to start getting back into the swing of doing YouTube regularly. Something that I really enjoy doing in my spare time and hopefully now when I'm all set up, I've got new equipment as well, brand new lights here uh, because it's quite a dark room doing this. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to reflect on the season so far, the first 10 games in and also start looking forward to the games coming up in the next few weeks. So really, over the first 10 games, I think we can be quite pleased with the points that we've got and a lot of the performances. I think it's been mentioned though quite widely that our lack of uh, finishing touch is going to cost us perhaps in the end. I think we've only scored nine goals in our 10 games so far, which is not great. But then if you reflect on our defensive capabilities, we are actually quite strong at the back and probably one of the best teams defensively to ever get promoted from the Premier League. But I was just thinking last night about how can we rectify this? How can we fix the problems at the back? And I think for me, I would change now from going from playing five at the back to four at the back and having an extra man in midfield. It's something that we've seen the England team start to do now and do quite well against Spain. And perhaps it's something that we need to start thinking about as well. We've been so secure with the three centre-backs at the back. But perhaps it would give us more of an attacking threat over the long term, having that extra man in midfield, somebody who can sit a little bit deeper, perhaps push Conor Cody a little bit for, further forward, or Roman Saiz perhaps, to allow Neves and Moutinho to meander that little bit further, or to have somebody else like Gibbs White perhaps playing in that position and pushing forward on a little bit. I think that's what's needed to create more effective chances, as well as Obviously, we need to sign a striker. I also think that despite how well Matt Doherty has played over the last few weeks, that's the, where the, most of the chances are coming from, is from that right wing back position. And it's really important that we have somebody who can score those chances or score one in every two games or something like that. And Doherty's done very, very well so far, but he's just not consistently scoring those chances. The chance against Brighton is a prime example of a chance that really should be scored. Now, it's been widely reported that Wolves are going to spend big in the January transfer window to get in a striker. I'm not sure who it's going to be. It could be there's been reports of uh, people from Italy coming in or whatever. But I just started watching a little bit of the Bundesliga. And the front three for Leipzig are out of this world. The pace and the accuracy and the quality of the finishing there. Between Yusuf Poulsen and Tino Werner. I know that they're going to be extortionate. But we've got the sort of money to go and buy somebody like that and that's what I think Wolves will do but yeah reflecting back on the on the first 10 games I'm very very pleased with Wolves uh, I think it's not been a shock I think we sort of expected Wolves to come up and to to be able to cope with the Premier League everybody said that we played a Premier League style of football last year and we've just continued that we've continued the consistency we've played well we've kept the ball moving we need that little bit of sharpness in attack and creating better chances I think and just a, a little bit of cleverness as well. We need a bit of you know, brains on the pitch. We struggled to make effective chances against Brighton. We had lots and lots of balls into the box. When you're playing against Duncan Duffy, who were these enormous centre-backs, they just dealt with the crosses all day. We needed to be a little bit smarter and run the ball at them and make them you know, get in behind them, like we did uh, in the Villa game last year against Chester and Terry, those old, uh, slow centre-backs. We turned it into a foot race. And they couldn't deal with it. So that's something that I would like to see improved on. Just a bit of more brains on the pitch. I think the best game for me so far, the best performance was the Man City performance. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the team who blew away the Premier League last year. And who have been a fantastically consistent team. Um, free, free scoring. They scored seven the week before against Huddersfield. And then they came and played us. And we matched them. And we played really, really well. Um, it was just unfortunate that we couldn't get that win but then the games against Burnley and Palace and uh, Southampton where we picked up nine points from those three games that's really really important that we can have those little bursts um, and I, was sort of, I think everybody was sort of hoping that Watford and Brighton would continue in that vein but it hasn't quite worked out like that we've got two really tricky games now against Arsenal and Spurs but I do think that the way that we've risen our game for those big games this season already Man United and Man City we could get something out of one of them, but I don't think we're going to win either of them. I think a draw against Arsenal is possible. I think a draw at home against Spurs as well could be on the cards, but it's very, very tough at the moment um, in, to look at those games and think that we're going to get anything out of them. 
Anyway, thank you very much for your patience over the last few weeks. I saw a massive growth in the channel in the summer and then it's all come to a stop and that's completely my fault because of not being able to put videos out, but hopefully now with this new setup, there'll be reviews, previews and everything else back up as usual. So thank you very much for all your patience and for people who have started subscribing during this time as well, you'll see a lot more content in the next few weeks. So thank you very much. Leave your comments in the section down below. Uh, like and subscribe if this is the first time that you've come across this channel and thank you very much yet again for all your support uh, I'll be back next time goodbye